Hello everyone, it's uh, Carl here from uh, AEC Forum Richo71. Uh, I had a device the other day which I bought with my own money. I uh, had it from uh, Grey Hayes, Billy uh, Grey Hayes, and it's uh, the Enikin I Taste VTR. Uh, I first saw this at Bait Fest uh, this year and uh, I had a hold of it there and I, I did like it. Uh, Waited, watched a few YouTube videos recently on it. Uh, uh, Scott's, I think, was one I watched, and also I've watched uh, Phil Bissardo's. And the only thing I didn't like was uh, that, that the spinning five ten connection. Uh, it seemed to looking at the YouTube videos, it made it seem as though the tanks were a bit loose in there and a bit rattly about. Uh, but I, anyway, I went ahead and bought one because uh, I like it so much. And uh, with Christmas coming up and stuff. And I bought this. Now, I'll just do the quick unboxing. And you get the attache case. And it's pretty normal, pretty standard. Uh, you get the manual. Pretty st st everything's still the same so far, though the, the manual's still the same. Uh, that's how it comes and now you've got your uh, 510 extender and the device itself that in the iClear 30s which is already in when you buy it now I'll get the uh, the I the I taste out of the box hopefully that's it All right, so I'll shut that Let's also get the uh, 510 extender out. Uh, nice solid little box that is as well. Uh, I take it to work with me in that box like that to keep it to uh, keep it nice because I, I I use this for work. Now that's the device. Excuse, it is a fingerprint magnet, so you have to excuse the fingerprints. And what we've got here. Is I won't go through everything fully, like because obviously, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen uh, other VTR videos anyway. Before you've got your menu button and your adjust adjustment spinning adjustment wheel that adjusts the voltage uh, or the wattage, depending on what mode you've got it in. The iClear 30S that's in there already, I'll take that out for you. It's the iClear 30S, still got the uh, rubber bung on because I haven't used this as yet. I've been using my iClear 30, the old version. Uh, it's got a light that shows you the status of the battery and your fire button. It's green at the moment, there's a battery in there. Uh, it takes 18650 batteries. I've just got a uh, Panasonic grey in here at the moment and it's just a uh, put it in top put it in top down click it in place when you click it in place it comes up with eights on the screen it's not on at that stage you have to press the button three times one two three you get a flashing light and then it says on on the display and on the dis when you press the menu button it says non and then it goes into your power or your voltage mode the non means there's no atomizer connected now I'm showing you this guys because uh, the bit I didn't like about uh, the VTR was the spinning 510 Connection. It made the from the videos I'd, I'd watched. It, it looked like the tanks were a little bit rattly in there, and it looked like the connector was uh, quite loose. To be honest, at the bottom here, this bit. Now, this is the version I've had off Billy, which is an updated version. Although it looks like it's got a spinning wheel, it's actually fixed. It's there's no rattles to it anymore. That's actually fixed now. You, you can't spin it, and also. 
it's got four air channels cut out these air channels here and also two two hot two air holes either side to aid airflow into the 510 uh, which for me is brilliant uh, I didn't know I was receiving the updated version and uh, I think Billy's updated his website now to say that it is the updated version that he has it that he has on his website uh, so if you put in a this is an idea theory uh, you just spin it on and it's a lot easier to get on from what I've seen because obviously you couldn't do that with the old one because it, that had spin the other bit had spin at the bottom and it's solid in there now no rattles it doesn't rattle up against the uh, against the bar here and it vapes well And that's it. That's it. Nine watts. So if you if you press it, if you press it once, it shows you 2.2 ohms and power nine watts. Uh, I got my own juice in here. It's 50/50 VG VG PG mix. And to be honest, I've been vaping since uh, February of this year, and uh, I've had quite a few devices, mechanical and electronic, or regulated, whatever you want to call it. And this for me is the best bit of kit I've bought, and I've used it for the last couple of days. I haven't touched me, I've got a couple of mechanicals here, but uh, I. I'm just loving the because I've always liked the iClear 30s anyway. Uh, I haven't tried the 30s yet because I'm waiting for some uh, new juice to come. Uh, I'm going to fill it up with some some of my new juice when it comes. Uh, but the the iClear 30s, the old style, work on here perfect as well. Uh, the drawer's a little bit, a little bit on the tighter side, but I think the iClear 30 drawer is a little bit tight, uh, tight compared to the Pro tanks and stuff anyway. out sorry about that guys and girls uh, but yeah I just wanted to show you this because it is an updated version and I don't I don't know how many vendors have got this or know about it because I think the boxes are exactly the same uh, I think it's a case of uh, when a customer gets it they'll notice straight away that it's the updated version because there's no spinning wheel and I think Billy only noticed that he was selling the updated version when I told him <laughs> on the forum. And uh, I put a couple of posts on the forum about it actually. But I just wanted to show everybody that uh, that is now fixed. But it still looks like it's 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 still, although it's fixed it, with having the ridges in, it still looks like it's a turnable wheel. So they haven't lost the design in incorporating the fixed 510. But great, great bit of kit. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. And I think uh, I think Billy's has got it on. It's sixty nine, sixty nine ninety nine. And it comes in. Uh, this one's the stainless steel color, chromed color. Then he does the jungle camo color as well, which is like an army green. Uh, but yeah, and in, in this color, it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. But it looks superb. The, the the display is as clear as anything. It's so clear, and it's really really good to use. Uh, the weight it is quite heavy, but I find it easier to put in my pocket than my SVD that I, that I had, which I recently sold on onto the on the forum. Uh, I just find it, although it's heavier in my pocket, it's more pocketable, and I believe they do do cases for these as well, uh, which I haven't got. Because I don't, I don't wear anything on my belt really, so I just put it in my slippers in my pocket. But it's, it's my device I take to work because it, it's sturdy, robust, and just don't drop it on your toes, guys. But uh, thanks for watching anyway, and any comments or uh, just leave them on the video or on the forum, and I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you, guys. See you again.
bye.